heart so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the about five miles out we lost all radio communication uh, with the crew so the crew had no no idea where I was at when I was gonna show up and so every time I pulled into pits it was a surprise um, but this was just such a fast-paced race we, we, we didn't stop we tried not to stop from uh, the start and uh, I never got out of the car the entire day um, I just kept on making forward progress the whole time I was saying don't stop you can't stop just keep making forward progress don't get out just keep on making forward progress and 
at one point, I think on the trail spooners, we got up to third place because we, we, we bypassed about three or four stuck cars. And uh, yeah, that felt good, but I just couldn't keep up in the rocks. It's so hard as a single seat driver, especially an IFS car in the rocks. It's very, very tough. Uh, well, solid axe cars haven't made. But uh, yeah, we ended up finishing seventh place, I think, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, this race is not your normal King of the Hammers race. This race has uh, been a sprint. Generally, it's just an, a, a game of survival, and that's not the case this year. So, very proud to be here. Very, very happy with my placing. Couldn't get any better. We got in the car, started, you know, going through the desert super duper fast. Uh, passed a bunch of cars, got up to uh, Shannon Campbell, passed him. And then as soon as I left remote pit, 1A, uh, like a mile 40, the tire balls blew out, the front tire. So I had a freaking drive like 20 miles on a flat tire, so like 25 miles an hour. Brother drove by me, he must have got confused. And he didn't stop, but he heard me. So I waited and then I was like, well, nobody's gonna help me. So I just drove it all the way to freaking remote pit on a rim, down back door. Drew uh, did an awesome job, got me water. Got me back on the trail and I second lap went smooth, no flats. Passed a bunch of more cars back and then uh, third lap, started the third lap, my brother caught me at the main pit, so I was just I gotta go full 120%. Third lap was intense, I rolled twice, uh, going up spooners. Every time I was trying to win, so I'm no more winching. And then uh, just you know, battle with Clay Gilstrap for a little bit, and then Levi was uh, there was two cars up on uh, Jack North. They were stuck, and I saw a line way right, all crazy, and I just went for it, and it worked out. Passed them, and it was a good day. I didn't have to get out of the car and work on it. Thank you. Um, that was a, it was a rough day, but that's what the Hammers is. We did everything that we possibly could. We had two small errors, one rolling over in the back door. Um, there's a whole bunch of other little tiny getches and that kind of stuff. The car started finally getting in its groove on the very last lap, but um, we had one traffic jam at the beginning of Spooners, but other than that, I think this is proof that girls can drive. This is proof that anything is possible, even when you're driving a car that's not even made for a class like this.